presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that, that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market, either up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Okay, boys and girls, this is Larry Pesavento setting in for the master himself, Tom O'Brien. Tom will be back with you next week, folks, but today you have me for the final hour of the week on a very, very wild week. We're down over 700 points in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. I posted a funny little cartoon that one of these geniuses in millennials, I guess, his picture of uh, Jerome Powell standing over a grave of the NASDAQ showing 1973 to 2022, I believe, uh, as the death of the NASDAQ. Boy, if you ever want to get ready for a, a rally, that's got to be the picture you want to use. You're not seeing that. Okay, well, let's try to do it again. One second, boys and girls. It uh, Well, let's just do it the easy way, if I can. Uh, hold on here. Boy, I sure have trouble with technical stuff, don't I? But that's that's just the nature of the beast. This I think we can do. Hopefully this will do it and you'll be able to see it now. And if we can't, and if we can't, then I'll have to go to plan B. As it, uh, Maybe it's because I'm in the host chat, but uh, let me know if you could see it, folks. Uh, please do. I would uh, like... Okay, everything's good. Anyway, that's just showing you 1971, 2022, the death of the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ has been the, the leader on the way down. It was a leader on the way up. That's the way it's supposed to be. But let me try to walk through you, walk through with you what I see happening in the NASDAQ because we're getting close to a very, very important bottom. And we're going to bring this up to let you see what it looks like. This is over the past several weeks. Uh, we had a very important thing happen uh, just yesterday. I want to bring it up to your attention here. But here is the. Uh, the NASDAQ, and as you can see here, we made that 382 retracement here. We hit it three days in a row, folks. But the way that it did it, and remember now, we have the Dow Jones way up into this area and also the S&P up into this area, but the NASDAQ cannot get above the 382 retracement, verifying, uh, giving validity that it is in a very, very bearish market. But that bearish market is getting pretty close to having one heck of a rally. Let me show you why I think that could be happening. All I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back over the last uh, several days just to show you that high that we made here to prove to you why it's so very important because these option traders use these numbers to price the options. And you'll be able to see here yesterday when we went up there, you can see the three peaks up there. That was each one of those where that, blue, where that little green line is uh, where you have your... Uh, you expect a weekly high of that move. You can see it hit it three times, three different days. And then, of course, we've broken down badly today, which is what we were expecting. I I'll show that chart to you also so that you'll be able to see the upgraded version of what we're just talking about. Because what we're looking at here, folks, is technical analysis. This is known as the AB equals CD pattern. It's in Tommy's book, you know, Timing the Trade. With uh, Tom O'Brien, it is a great book, and uh, but you'll be able to see there's the big ABCD that he's looking at in his book, and you can see that big 1.618 expansion is coming due here, and with a couple action like this, within a day or two, we'll probably be lined up exactly uh, down to that uh, far point here, probably like Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. We should be setting right here on this bottom 
right about here. That's what you'd be watching to see if this uh, lines up. But right now it's doing exactly what it should be doing. It's washing out these people that stayed around too long. Folks, interest rates are going to go higher. You have to get ready for that. But again, I believe that we're in the same situation in Treasury notes and Treasury bonds as we are with the others because you're looking at something that is going to tell you that the market is at a major, major bottom here uh, in these uh, interest rates, which means we should get a very, very strong rally in a bear market, but interest rates are going to be going higher, so get ready for it. If you're going to finance a house, now's the time to do it. Okay, now taking a look here at the long-term weekly in the Treasury notes. Now, these are the things that they measure for your uh, auto loans, your credit cards, and any uh, credit that you have for credit cards. You'll see that this big ABCD pattern, we rally up to a 382 retracement, and we've been coming down sharply now for 11 weeks. So this market is incredibly oversold, and it's due for a very, very strong rally. Now, if it matches the last two rallies that we had, you'll notice we had one way back here in 2000 and, uh, 2020, another one in 2021, and then this little small one in 2022, it's going to be eight to 10 handles. Well, that's an eight or nine thousand dollars in these but remember the bonds have already rallied two thousand dollars already this week so that's telling you that this market is uh at least for notes and bonds has bottomed somewhat but folks long term all of these things are, are turning negative so you've got to be very very careful be, being a buyer of bonds or stocks in here because uh, th something's different out there, folks. I don't know exactly what it is because I'm a technician, but, you know, the, the interest rates are increasing. You know, I know we've got a war, or we don't have it, but other, the rest of the world does in the Ukraine and other things that are very, very important, but that's not the important thing. The important thing is you don't have to risk your money. So if you've got money in these stocks and you think it's time to get out, that's what you should do. It's going to be a great buying opportunity here in about probably a week to 10 days would be my guess. And then you're going to see one heck of a rally, uh, bigger than anything we've seen thus far. Now, I want to show you the uh, what this really means, because if you stop and think what's happened to the NASDAQ here between yesterday and today, this is a graph that uh, was posted on the Internet by one of the clever little folks that can do those little cartoons. But you can see here that uh, we've dropped 500 points from high to low, folks. And now we're down another 300 points a day. And not only that, folks, we are down one standard deviation in the NASDAQ. Boy, that is not an easy task to do, over 300 points. So uh, this market is now very, very oversold. And we're coming into an area... Uh, probably, my guess is Tuesday, maybe Wednesday, we should be forming a bottom down in here. We should, should get a rally that lasts anywhere from five to ten days, and then, then we'll have to reevaluate it from that level. So let's take a little break. 877 927 6648. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500 plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks. Uh, this is Larry Pesavento setting in for Tom O'Brien today. Uh, and what I'm doing now is posting a chart of the long-term weekly of the Dow Jones Industrial Average. I'd like for you to take a quick look at that because on the far left, you'll see what happened during the COVID epidemic where the market dropped about 22% over a six-week period. And as you can see here, we're down in that area um, where – we're only down like 7 or 8%, so we have a long way to go just to match that if that were to be the case. That would be a significant correction from where we are sitting right now. And that's pretty much, uh, you know, some of the things that we have to pay attention to because, you know, we don't have any uh, – well, COVID is dissipating quite a bit, and we don't have a war going on over here, so we have to rely on what the news is to tell us whether these markets are going to go up. Being a technician like I am, I don't really look at the news, but you'll be able to see these things unfold because uh, this is a major top. You'll see that that high – I lost it just one second, folks. I'll get it back up here again, and we'll be up here. You'll be able to see it. And then we'll be ready to go. Hold on here, and we'll be ready to go one more time. And uh, this area here was the high back on January the 6th. That was a three drive to a top pattern, drive one, drive two, drive three. And then, of course, we had the big correction into February when the, uh, the nuclear power plant over there was attacked. And uh, fortunately, there was no damage, and now things have held up relatively well. But uh, with uh, there's problems other places in the world, too, folks. We're handling it the best we can, but fortunately, the, there's not been a war on our shores here. Believe it or not, folks, there was actually an attack by a Japanese submarine in 1942. It, uh, it, it came uh, above ground, uh, above the water uh, in uh, in Santa Barbara, California, and he fired. They fired some, uh, uh, what I guess shells, mortar shells, whatever it was, and it hit a restaurant called the Timbers, and that Timbers uh, was rebuilt with the the remainder of the. The, the restaurant that was still there was called the Timbers. It remained the only place on the on the whole continental United States where uh, we were actually attacked by a foreign uh, by a foreign force. Anyway, uh, that lasted till about 1972, about 30 years, and then it was turned into a nursing home, and doing good work there still to this day. 
So I thought I'd bring that up to you because uh, every time I go up to that area, I drive past the place to remind myself that that's what we're looking at. Now, I've asked, uh, been asked by uh, one of our listeners here if we could do the same work with that we just did with the Dow Jones with the E-mini S&P, and I'm going to do that right now. I'll bring up uh, the uh, hourly chart so you'll be able to see the swings that we're looking at. We're very close to a bottom, folks. We were, you can see here as you look at this, uh, the bottom is going to be down here uh, right around the 42.35 uh, level. I think uh, the last price I saw was 42.78, so we're very, very close. That's a 78% retracement of the low that we made way back in September, uh, excuse me, on um, on February the 24th, that's when that uh, big problem when the Ukraine was attacked, and then they started, you know, dropping shells everywhere. And then, of course, on February, on March the 15th is when they had the uh, the the problem with the uh, um, power station. And so, anyway, this late in the day for me, folks. So bear with me. I'm doing my best to to set in for Tommy. And boy, that's not an easy task because he does it day in, day out, and does a great job. But that's what we're looking at here: is potential bottom coming in here. My guess is on Tuesday or Wednesday, and usually probably two, ten, turn around Tuesday, as they usually call it. So I'll be looking for a place to to buy some, you know, futures and some other things that probably be at a good cheap price at at those levels. Now I wanted to. Uh, get off the beaten path here a little bit and talk just a tiny bit about energy. And uh, the chart that I'm going to bring up to you is the uh, chart for the uh, UNG, which is the ETF for natural gas. And then I'm going to bring up the, the price chart of the natural gas and show you the difference. So you've noticed with the ETF here, with these arrows that you're seeing right here, each of these is a what they call an island reversal. In other words, the market is way up and then reverses, closing near the low of the day, and then boom, down it went. And you can see we had one of those this week, which came in at... Um, uh, hold on, I believe it, $8. Yeah, $8.10. And we've been down ever since. It's been hit, getting hit pretty hard. And then today, as we uh, look at it today, you'll be able to see this picture uh, personified because when we look at it on a daily basis, now this is the nearest, this is the futures for the uh, for the May contract, which will be going off the board shortly. But there's the big expansion that we had. You'll notice the big bottom that we had down here. Uh, you know, that's when that you want to be buying is when all those red things, all these red uh, patterns are completing down here uh, like they were in January. And then, boom, away we've had this huge run. And that pretty much capped that bull market. We've backed off in just three or four days. You can see we've dropped well over. Uh, three or four thousand dollars, but the market is going up and down three or four thousand dollars during the day, folks. That's how wild it is over there. And if you're not accustomed to trading natural gas, and if you're not accustomed to trading natural gas, you probably ought to stay out of stay out of that party because it's a wild one, and you don't want to get involved with those wild ones. Wait for the easy ones to come along. The easy ones coming along is when you got the S and P down there at uh, forty two thirty five, and when it's setting there at forty two thirty five, yes, there's where you can you know put your toe in the water and say, yeah, I can find some good buys in here. Friendly hello and a good buy. As they always say, not when you're selling cars, and we're not selling cars here. That's back from the old days of Terre Haute, Indiana. Anyway, let's move on to uh, the next chart that I wanted to share with you. And that's since we're talking about money, I want to share with you the chart of the euro over the past month because it has been getting hit. That means a dollar is getting has been very, very strong. We'll get up right here so you'll be able to see what we're looking at here. And there's the euro over the past month in a strong downtrend. You'll notice these two red uh, markings that we have here. That means the market made a 382 retracement, telling you that the market is still going down. And we're testing those lows again as we speak. But we're getting close to what we think is going to be a pretty significant bottom in the euro, folks. We're trading at 107 and change somewhere around that 105 level. It's only two points away. Uh, we should have a major, major turn in the U.S. dollar, i.e. selling off the U.S. dollar and the euro starting to rally. Now, is that going to happen today? No. 
It's going to happen over a period of three or four more weeks. So we got more time. Remember, the Fed's going to be out there pumping their little program with we're going to raise 50 basis points or 20 basis points, whatever it happens to be. But that's it. We'll find out uh, when they're going to do it. But interest rates are going higher, folks. But we should have a really good short covering rally before that happens. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Maybe the trading gods will give us a little bit of a rally here uh, in these interest rates futures because they've been down 11 or 12 weeks in a row now, which in itself is a huge outlier event. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. <clears throat> Gold market has taken off topside in a large way. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Okay, folks, this is Larry Pesavino setting in for Tom O'Brien today. Tom will be back with us next week. If you'll notice here, this uh, the chart that I've just posted happens to be the U.S. dollar on a weekly chart. Folks, this only shows the last three years, but if you want to go back about 15 years ago, when I first started doing this show for Tom in 2007, he had a little program that he had developed called 
king dala in other words he thought that the dollar was going to rally and believe me folks it was sitting right on its backside i mean it was had been bearish for quite a while but he said this is where the dollar turns and of course it was trading at around 72 and of course it went to uh, quite a bit higher in fact you can see it here we're already above one and so this is uh, the type of thing that we look for now you notice that this one is setting up into this 100 to 101 range which is near the 78 percent retracement now 78 percent is important because it's the square root of 618 the square root of 618 is 0.382 so that's how you get them a how these numbers fit together in a, in a way of trying to analyze what the market is doing. So as long as we don't get above the 102 level, uh, we've got a chance for this dollar index to be peaking out here shortly, and we'll see a pretty good rally in possibly in the euro. But remember, the euro has been under a great deal of pressure, folks, because of the fact that uh, you know they're involved with what's going on in the Ukraine because you know part of NATO makes it a you know quagmire of problems for them. We have our own problems here, but that happens to be just a big one for them. So let's pay attention to that. Now, let me just show you, uh, since we're in the talking about the euro, and it's one of my most favorite things to trade, along with about 25 other things. Hold on. Let's get this up here. You'll see here, this is the weekly chart of the euro. And there you can see there's a possibility of that ABCD pattern that Tom features in his book, Timing, Timing the Trade. And that comes in right at that 106 and change. You usually see that take out those lows from last year, well, two years ago, 2020. Uh, that would make it, excuse me, early 2021. That would get it down to about that 106 level, possibly 105. And then we should see a, a humongous rally of anywhere from eight to 10 weeks that would take the market back up into that area. It's around that 112 area that would be very, very interesting uh, to look at. Uh, that, excuse me, in the euro versus the uh, versus the dollar. So, those are those are how we look at it technically. Remember, folks, that the euro is 53% of the dollar index. So that's why you have to be able to watch that as you're looking at it because if you don't, and if you don't. That's telling you that, by golly, you're going to be surprised and maybe this dollar is going to bring back inflation or it could also help tame inflation. If it comes back in a big way, it could make things a lot better than what we're seeing now with inflation. Because, you know, with the fires and stuff that are still going on in some of these cities, it, it's just really, uh, it's really amazing. I'm talking about the ones with the hurricanes and stuff. Okay, now let's get back to the gold market here because this is one that we all have an interest in, TFNN. Get this up here and we'll be looking at this uh, chart right here, which is the uh, hourly chart of the uh, Gold, as you can see here, it's a four-hour chart. We made a beautiful ABCD up there this week at 1975. Uh, we closed the week at 1934, down $35 on the week. And I believe that this is just the beginning. We're going to make another larger ABCD in this. Uh, we will not be doing any gold business uh, as, as we move to uh, – uh, when we switch over, folks, in other words, when uh, – they they the, the words i'm trying to say is when the market is over today okay we are not going to be switching over to another contract of the gold until this is june gold so the next one will be coming up will be august so that's what you want to be looking for uh is where august gold is so we're down right now at around 1934 is looks like where we changed the ABCD on this structure would take you down to that very famous number of 1776 and at that point folks back up your truck your F-150 or your Tacoma or Dakota whatever you're riding and uh, get ready to buy some gold because that's going to be where the train leaves for uh, the next uh, level in gold which will be up around 3200 but we need to see the gold wash everybody out right around that 1776 level. The same thing in the cryptos. We'd like to see Bitcoin get down into that area of around 20 to 25,000, and that'll set up some of these cryptos that we watch uh, very, very uh, auspiciously. I think that's the word I'm trying to figure out, to be a buyer of those. But right now, that's a long way from happening. We still have to get them down to the levels where they're very, very low risk. Okay, now, this is what I wanted to show you how this 
collapse has happened these last couple of days because this is this is what technical analysis is all about. What I'm going to show you now is the cash S&P index, the SPY. Now, as you can see here, we made the 61% retracement, and then we backed off a few days, and then we rallied back again to that same level this week, right up to that 61% retracement that we hit it magically yesterday at 4509, spot on, 61% retracement. And from that level, we've been breaking down, and of course, the price objective on that comes in at 2537. Let's try it again, Larry, 45, try it again, Larry, 4327, and that's uh, where you'll be uh, going to that level. Anyway, let's hope that uh, these markets continue to trade the way they are trading because this volatility is tailor-made for pattern recognition swing trading, and that's what we try to do here. Uh, at TFNN, especially the service that I have, which is uh, Fibonacci 24-7. And the 24-7 is because I stay up a lot to see if the folks can, uh, you know, get moving on as far as, uh, uh, you know, what the markets are doing overnight in London and other places like that. So we just did a seminar in London uh, on uh, April uh, 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. It was the hands down the most successful one I've ever done with Tom Hugard, David Paul, Steve Ward, and Al Brooks, and it was really a lot of fun. Now we're going to switch gears, get over on the slippery side of this investment business, and move over to his old Jed Clampett would call it Black Gold, Texas Tea. Get this up here and you'll see there is the crude oil, folks. We had a beautiful bottoms down there in earlier part of the year. Then we had a big run up, as you can see here. That was in early February. And uh, then we've had the sell off since then. And we made the 61% retracement here at the 107, 108 level on Monday, folks. Sunday and Monday is when we, <clears throat> when we hit that. And we've been down all week. We got as low as 99. We dropped $7 a barrel this week. We bounced back a little bit, trading at around 101.90 to 102, but that's still uh, pretty significant. Now, you'll notice that red downtrending line here. This is very important because now that we've seen that level here at that 107, 108 level, that's telling us that that's a very strong downtrend. And the price objective, if this continues, is going to take us back to $85 a barrel, believe it or not. We, we might even get gas under, you know, $200 a gallon if that happens. But this market has made some type of a major top. So let's be careful and see what happens. 877-927-6648. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Okay, folks, we're back. This is Larry Pesavento setting in for Tom O'Brien, and we have a guest on the line. Mr. Z from Philly is on the line. John, how are you doing today? I am doing very well, Larry. Uh, thanks for taking the call. Like uh, Very much like uh, you filling in and doing double duty for uh, Tom O'Brien today. It's a real pleasure. Uh, he does a lot for everybody else, so all we can do is chip in when he needs help. So Indeed. Say, Larry, I wanted to ask you about uh, the E-mini S&Ps. Uh, sure. You've done a, a wonderful job uh, over the weeks and months, of course, and notab notice, uh, notably, rather, uh, just yesterday and today, catching, um, catching a uh, short up and over, I think, that 4,500 level yesterday. And uh, now we've had this big reversal, and it's, um, it's just real easy to see. Of course, you've done this for yourself and your clients, but uh, the E-mini S&Ps, I think, yeah, they've gotten down to 4,275, 4,300 last, mm -hmm. bounced just a touch, but are uh, quickly approaching the 4,235 target. That's just an A, B equals C, D down. Sure. Uh, so uh, what I wanted to ask is as we have declined dramatically uh, yesterday and today, just into 3 o'clock, uh, uh, do you handle this by taking partial profits on shorts, uh, taking all your profits, letting it all run? Could you just describe how do you handle that as a trader given you know a, a large move in such a brief period of time well john you're fortunate to have me on the line today because i'm one of the few people that knows where the exact high and the exact low is of every market at all times so that's exactly I be... why i called sir <laughs> <laughs> it's called a swag john and everybody knows what a swag is it's a sophisticated wild guess and you know what the a stands for no john what i try to do is manage my risk and i know coming into this weekend we've had two strong down days in a bull market we're still in a bull market Okay, and my my whole premise here is I don't want to risk anything. So because of the weekend coming up here, uh, I know that I can take the position off, which I just did just a little while ago. Once the standard deviation, one standard deviation in Nasdaq was hit, and since that happened, it's rallied 150 points, I believe. But um, I don't like to be long anything or short anything over the weekend. Uh, if I can help it. Now, sometimes because of grains and stuff, you have to be that way. But on, with the stocks, you can always get back in Sunday night. So I will wait and see what's happening Sunday night and then look to put my positioning, you know, back on at that time. So that's how I handle that. So I hope that answers your question. You know, that uh, uh, it does answer it. And you gave your logic so that's all very, uh, all very clear. So, um, yeah, no, that's terrific. Um, 
I, uh, I thought I'd also just ask briefly on the gold market. Um, we rallied uh, to 2003 on uh, Monday. Yep. Interestingly enough, there was a full moon over the weekend, so that was a yep. <laughs> you know lunar cycle top. Yep. Uh, is there is there any reason to think, or is there any reason for you to consider and trade the possibility that this decline off of 2003 holds somewhere above? that uh, 1893 low that was uh, formed, uh, oh, I think it was March 29th or so. Or, alternatively, yes. do you just hold out for a break of that level with much lower price? Oh. Yeah, I, what, I, what I try to do now, you're talking about a longer time frame here, and of course my, my forte is shorter term, you know, one, two, three days, I'm very good at that because I can manage my risk within a you know, within a magnifying glass, actually. But when I start going out five, six weeks, like what you're talking here, I have to have a parameter that allows me to make that gauge, and that gauge is the ABCD pattern. Now, if we take 2,090 as the high, and then we came down to, I believe, uh, I think it was 16 and change, 1654, something like that. Then we rallied up to uh, 20 something. That means that we could get down one more time down there to around 1776, John. That's where, and it's strange that it's that number, but that is the number that I'm looking at for the ABCD in the gold market right around 1776, $150 from where we're sitting at today. Right, very good. Okay. Um, I thank you on all that and um, uh, all that uh, okay. input uh, makes a good deal of sense to me. So we will uh, uh, take the weekend off, uh, revisit Sunday night, and uh, and enjoy the weekend. That's the way I'd like to do. I mean, we just just since we were talking, we had a 200 point rally and a 100 point drop in the Dow Jones in the last. Uh, the last 20 minutes so it's not for the faint of heart but i, I would suggest uh, that that's what i'm doing is I've, i took them off just a little while ago and it, what, 15 minutes after the hour and now i'll wait and see what happens on sunday night if i miss part of it i miss part of it but there's always another train going by and we'll be able to catch that train no matter what but uh, the good news is is these markets are starting to behave normally it's, in other words, going up and down and not just straight up like we've had in some of these other markets. So the, including the grains, which have started to possibly sell off today and uh, in the meat markets that have been getting hit a little bit. So we're starting to see some types of uh, inflationary pressure being relieved, John. So there's always that possibility. So I think we need to watch it closely because, you know, corn could easily go. We were at $8 and change, 813 in corn just recently, and we could easily go back to 550 or six dollars and well, that, you, that you, you said it larry uh no uh no uh super bull market lasts forever absolutely yeah that's true and you know, john you and i both know that it is absolutely 100 percent imperative that we have a good crop in not only this hemisphere but also in brazil argentina because every bit of grain is going to be needed uh, to feed the world because a lot of people are out there without food and if we have a bad crop here wow you think two hundred dollar oil is exciting you have to remember that oil is indigestible and people want to eat food so who knows? I've seen the price of eggs doubled here in just 10 days. We've gone from $1.39 to two seventy, And I understand some places in the East, they're already $5 a dozen. Because, you know, that's pure protein. And, yeah, you know, that's... Yes, uh, indeed, yeah. I, yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it's funny how uh, <clears throat> uh, when bad news or bad things happen, they uh, seem to occur in clusters. And regarding eggs and chickens... Mm -hmm. There's a uh, uh, a uh, disease out there in the U.S. that is causing part uh, part of the flocks to be uh, to be liquidated to guard against that spreading. So, anyway, we will uh, wow. hope for the best and uh, prepare for something worse. And I uh, yeah. I thank you for your time, Larry, and you have a good self a good weekend. John, it's always great talking to you, folks, because this guy really knows his business. He's the real deal. I've known him a long time, and uh, they don't grow any corn without checking with John first. So that's how important he really is. John Thanks Sherman, folks. You bet, Mr. Z. Okay, now uh, 
we've got the market selling off again right on the lows of the day here. Looks like we're going to be down over 700, maybe even 800 points. Had a 200-point rally, a 200-point drop in the last 15 minutes. Let's take a little break. 877-927-6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The gold market has taken off topside in a large way. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, this is Larry Pesavento setting in for Tom O'Brien today. Tom will be back with us next week. I posted the chart of silver, folks. Uh, this is one that I'm extremely bullish on long term. If you get a 2 or $3 break in silver per ounce down around that area of around $20, 2100 21 to $21, uh, I would highly suggest you start buying some physical silver in the form of you know, the old coins that were minted in 1964 or earlier or buying silver rounds from the government or some of the other places that pr promote these uh, silver round coins that is basically one pure ounce of gold but uh, I think that's got a possibility of going a great deal higher. We know interest rates are going to go higher. Inflation doesn't seem to be uh, being let up at all right now, but that, that could change easily with a good crop. But like I mentioned before with Mr. Z, that we absolutely have to have a big crop this year or the world is in big trouble and there's going to be fighting for the last uh, morsel of food. So let's uh, do that. Now, I wanted to show you what was happening here while we were on the air. You can see here that the market rallied uh, 250 points and looked like it was going to close really strong. And then with about 15 minutes to go, you can see it just rolled over. 
and uh, gave up the ghost, saying that, my gosh, maybe we'll have to wait till tomorrow. We've got that outstanding target, folks, uh, 23 uh, 35. And that doesn't mean it's going to hold there, because if it goes through 23 35, you're looking at 41 handle very quickly in the S&P. So keep your eyes on that, because uh, when we come in here Sunday night, early Monday morning, we better uh, have our track shoes on, because these markets are going to get very, very volatile very quickly so we need to do that so the main thing is to prepare yourself for it ahead of time which is what we try to do here at tfnn both with our own work and all the work of some of our guests it uh, really helps out and if you need a place to hang your hat and want to know what's happening in the market there's no better place than the tiger den at tfnn tommy runs it uh, all day long and tom senior comes in at the end of the day wrapping it up which i'm setting in for him today but it's going to be fun. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless folks.